these are in good condition with the exception of the bottom so somebody's going to be running in these so this is going to be a no-go because of that all right y'all so here's what i ended up shoe wise so you just got like these under armor slides right here i mean probably like 15 20 bucks on a sale so more just like your bread and butter sale right here I ended up with quite a bit, so just kind of try to run through them. And this right here is like a, these look like they're almost like brand new. These hokas right here, like unbelievable. I believe these are like the Elevon 2. Maybe that's how you're pronouncing it, but anyways, man, these are like in really good condition. So this will be a really good sale right here. And then you just got like a pair of these superstar. I believe this colorway is like orange rush. I like the orange stripes. Then you just got like a pair of Rothies right here. Really good condition. And these are just forget like the exact model on the size like the i5923 i think there's like another name for them as well but anyway they normally sell pretty good and i'm just trying to make sure on these right here that they're in really good condition and these right here are so this will probably be like a 30 to 40 dollar sale then just a pair of metcons right here kind of like those hokas man these look i mean i don't know where they got these from like somebody if they wore them or maybe a handful of times and then just chunk them over to goodwill but this will be good and then you just got like a pair of these aren't like your higher end air max but i mean like i think you can get at least like 40 bucks on these right here need to like run them through the washer but after that they'll be good these right here are a pair of adidas i believe these are like the the niza or niza however you pronounce it but really good shape just probably just need to maybe wipe down the sides a little bit and these will be all set these right here are just like a pair of brooks I believe these are like the Ghost 14s. So nothing special, probably like, if you clean them up, maybe like a $40 sale. Got like another pair of Brooks right here. I believe these are like the Adrenaline GTX 22. Bottoms are in really good shape, just gotta clean them up. But, Probably like a $40 sale. They just got like a pair of Air Max 90s. I don't like it a pink colorway. Bottoms are really good. And then this brand right here, I haven't found it like a ton at the bins, but it's called Vivo Barefoot. Usually a, a nice brand right here. I can normally, the ones that I have found have sold for doing like 50 and 100 bucks so only to pay like they're really light less than two bucks here can't beat that then you got a pair of ultra boost these are in like really good condition and they are missing like the insoles but that's not really gonna have a huge impact and i also found like some vapor max right here Always nice to be able to find like Vapor Max for like maybe like two dollars because they're usually really light. And look these up. So eight forty nine five five eight. You can see there's like six of these that. Uh, listed and where are they? I'm 
25 or so and brand new obviously 325 180 pre-owned another 180 pre-owned 100 pre-owned 110 it looks like this will easily be like hundred dollar sale once these are cleaned up so you can't beat that we just got like some bread and butter adidas right here in really good shape we just got like some adidas i believe these are like the neos right here like the wedge really clean though kind of like rivals like the nike dunks for women almost and i don't pick up like a ton of sorrel but when the ones that i do pick up i usually like getting the i believe these are like the allen about like duck boots i know we're heading into like summer but i mean these will eventually sell they normally always do and then these are just a pair of like adidas like skateboard shoes i believe these are like the match play don't quote me on that I, I think that's what they're called but anyway should be like a 30 to 40 dollar sale and then i found these right here these are supposed to be like rare they do have like some dings on like the sides right here but i think i can still clean them up and make them look decent So these are like the Nike Air Max 90, like the Enigma stones. And they're supposed to be like rare, I guess. 10 listed. Three sold. One sold for like 154 basically. Brand new 275. And these are like 75. So I mean these do have some dings on them they do need to be cleaned up so i'm guessing at least like 80 bucks on these right here These are like a pair of new attacks, like Nike Pro Tights. Men small, probably like 50 cents, so a no brainer pickup at that price. These don't have like the size listed, but this is like a pair of. Lululemon pants. I believe these are probably for men. I've sold this model quite a bit. And let's see if I can kind of come across like the the size and maybe like the pocket or something. Oh yeah, it's a men's 33. So can't beat this for probably like a dollar fifty max. like a Nike gym vintage Oregon duck and in the past I would have picked this up but just an experience you're gonna be sitting on this for a long time because of the size so believe it Like this is like a Lululemon long sleeve. It looks like maybe like a Swiftly Tech long sleeve shirt. Could be it. Don't quote me on it though. So you can always find the size at the very bottom on this model right here. Looks like it's a women's six. So 
these are like the Athleta Olation Camo 7-8 tights. You got a little bit of wear on the bottoms, but good size though, a medium, and they are camo. So I think you can probably still get about 20 to 25 bucks for these. That's some basic Nike running shorts. We got like this Las Vegas Raiders. It's a 3XL, but it's like a Nike hoodie. Outside of like these two small snacks right here, which is basically minor. I don't really see anything wrong with it. it. Looks like a $30 sale to me. I didn't find a lot of clothing and usually that's kind of how it works out. If you find like shoes one day, you're usually not gonna find a lot of clothing because you're probably gonna spend too much time on the shoes. And by the time you get to the clothing, it's usually already been picked over and rarely are you gonna find both. But I did stumble across like a few more items. We got like this Oregon Duck like, I believe it's not like Nike or anything, it's like Port and Company, so not like a, a big brand. And it's from like the, when they made the playoffs in 2015 and ended up losing to Ohio State. I might keep this for myself, it's a large, but it looks like it runs kind of small. So if you sell it, I'm guessing maybe 20 to 30 bucks, but I may end up just keeping this. Got like some, got some standard Adidas training shorts or athletic shorts. Same thing here. Nike basketball. These will probably be like a $20 sale. This is like a foundational piece of my business, just like athletic shorts. Got like a athletic swimsuit. This one is a, an extra small and the only reason I'm picking it up is because it's a swimsuit and I know summer, summer's coming. Summer slowdown's coming with it as well and I know swimsuits will be in high demand so I'm going to pick that one up because this is like perfect timing. Otherwise, like if this was winter, I would probably just leave it. And then I found like a, like a vintage Oregon State like Reebok windbreaker jacket so I'm guessing maybe like 30 bucks and then we I just found like these for like our newest baby Callie I mean she's only like three months but they grow so fast and she probably can wear these like not this summer but like next summer so my wife will probably stash it away and we'll make do with them when the time's right So like two full bags, mostly like shoes. I think I found like like 20 pairs, but a pretty solid day in there. All right, so when I left home this morning, it was really cloudy, but it looks like it's going to shape up to be a nice day here in Portland. We spent the day yesterday out at like Oxbow Park. I mean, because it was like close to 70 and sunny yesterday, but just wrapped up. In the outlet, I think I spent like $49.90, so like right at like 50 bucks. I think it's like $49, $40, $93 or something like that to be exact. Got like 30 items that I'm actually going to sell, and I think 20 of those were shoes. So I didn't find a lot of clothing, and usually like I was saying in the store, on days where you find like a lot of shoes, you're probably not going to find a lot of clothes because you're going to spend most of your time digging for shoes. And by the time you make it over to clothing with the competition that's in there, there's just not going to be much of anything left over but i'm happy with that right there because that'll give me like at least shoes i mean probably for at least like the next couple of days because i'll probably like clean half the day and then use the shoes for the other half that i don't clean today for tomorrow so that'll work out pretty well and so i think it's probably only spent probably like a dollar 
I don't know like what the rough math is maybe like a dollar twenty or something like that per item so that's not bad right there and so now I'm gonna go home get the shoes clean get the items processed I think to them I'll probably list like 25 items and call it a day but I appreciate you guys for coming along with me if you got anything out of the video like it consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you guys right back here on the next video this might be all that I know think it's okay I've got a long way to grow at my own pace Go the long way, no one taught me How to walk, but I figured it out fine